Stop following me, you little rat. But it's mine. <laughs> it was yours. It's mine now. Well, but I found it and I'm hungry. Give it back. Hey, finders keepers. But if they're not tough enough to keep it, then losers weepers. Well, that's not fair. Didn't you ever hear of the survival of the fittest? Us bigger, stronger animals are entitled to take food from you weaker ones. No, you're not. Besides being a thief, Randy, you're mean. <laughs> wow, I thought she was never going to give it up. This is going to be so good. I'm going to enjoy every bite of it. Oh, good morning, Granny Crow. Ah, uh, not a good morning for everyone, it appears. What do you mean by that, Granny? Well, I was on that rock up there, and I saw what you did to Petunia Prairie Dog. So, she's just a little prairie dog. So, uh, you seem to be well-versed in all those old sayings like finders keepers and losers weepers, all that. Yeah, I'm very smart and educated, too. I know lots of them, like, uh, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Um, early to bed and early to rise makes one healthy, wealthy, and wise. Um, the second mouse always gets the cheese. Um, if you're too open-minded, your brains will fall out. Uh, let's see, pretty is as pretty does. Birds of a feather flock together. Uh... He who laughs last didn't get the joke. Life is hard, but it's harder if you're stupid. Um, beauty is only skin deep, but ugly goes clear to the bone. I could go on all day. Impressive, but I think you have a couple of those wrong. And you don't seem to know the most important one. Really, what makes it the most important? Because God said it? Well, how do you know what God said? It's written in the book of his words, the Bible. You can read it in Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. Oh, I've heard of that book. My grandpa told me about it, and he believes it's God's word. So if that saying you're talking about is in there, it must be pretty important. What is it? It's called the golden rule. It says, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. Do unto others as you'd have them do unto you? What does that mean, Granny Crow? Well, let's put it this way. How would you feel if some bigger animal came and took those berries from you? Well, they better not. I'll bite and scratch. Nobody treats me that way. And if that animal is much bigger and stronger than you, is it still okay? You know, the survival of the fittest thing. Well, no, that wouldn't be right. But it was okay for you to take it from Petunia Prairie Dog. Well, sure, because... Well, because... Um... Fancy sayings fall apart when they disagree with what God says. You're right, Granny Crow. It doesn't make sense to do anything to anyone that I wouldn't want done to me. Nobody's that much better than anyone else. And, uh... Nothing could make that right or fair. And wouldn't the world be a better place if everyone lived by that saying? Yes, it really would. Um, Granny Crow, do you think I could start practicing that right after I eat these berries? I mean, they I already took them and all. Well, what do you think, Randy? Um, well, um, uh, Petunia... Here are your berries back. I'm sorry I took them. Uh, will you show me where you found them? Uh, maybe there are more and we could have a picnic. Oh, <laughs> do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Now that's a good saying. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Be kind, be honest. Be good and loving to the Lord commands it. It is the golden rule.